Hi guys, I'm Stephen from uh, B Research, uh, Gamma Spectacular. This is my workbench here. This is where I make the, uh, the Gamma Spectacular range of drivers and detectors. Uh, I want to share with you today a quick little project that I made, um, which is a um, radiation shielding for the um, one and a half inch detectors. Uh, I get, we get a lot of questions uh, on the forum, how to construct a shield and you know how to make it without too many tools and where to get the lead and so on. So um, this is a neat little project that I thought I'd share with you. Uh, I went down to the hardware shop and uh, bought some uh, PVC plumbing pipes. This is a 100 mil uh, sewer pipe and here's a uh, 50 mil drain pipe. As you can see they fit together with a bit of a gap in between. Uh, the end caps are also readily available and uh, pretty, pretty reasonable. Uh, when it's completely assembled We've got the 100mm uh, sewer pipe here, I've cut an opening on the side here, I've glued a flange on at the bottom here so it stands nice and stable and a cap with a 50mm drain pipe in the top and we've added a little, uh, little screw top here where we can open up and fill the gap in between the 50mm pipe and the 100mm pipe with lead shot and this little cap screws neatly in and secures it so the lead is uh, sealed and, and safe. The whole thing is glued together with this uh, special PVC pipe glue here which is also available at the uh, hardware shop. It's uh, very very strong and it literally welds the uh, PVC together. And although this is um, I suppose a combined stand and shield, it's not the ultimate shield but it's an easy shield to construct and it cuts the background radiation by about 75%. I've had this uh, one and a half inch detector here uh, running for a few minutes here without a shield and as you can see here when we pop it into the shield uh, we're going to see that that uh, background radiation will drop significantly. It's about a 75% drop in background radiation which is pretty useful for most purposes. Uh, the detector sits in nice and firmly up there and holds it so it won't tip over which is very practical for me because I use it here on my desk all the time and uh, I've also made myself a piece of uh, camera foam which uh, fits in nicely at the bottom here and retains a constant uh, 100 mil distance between the detector and the source so uh, if you have a look over here on my screen now we can see that the, uh, the background radiation has dropped by at least 75%. And uh, now I can uh, use this uh, setup here on my desk to calibrate uh, my detectors. And here I can put my little cesium source in here. And every time it'll be the same distance to the detector and uh, give me a constant uh, reading. So look, it's, uh, this took me about one hour to make given I have a, a full workshop with a, with a lathe and, uh, and everything, but um, even as a small uh, kitchen benchtop uh, project, I imagine this wouldn't take more than a couple of hours to put together. So uh, give it a try. If you need something like this, it's very handy. And if someone uh, out there simply doesn't have the means to, to make something like this, send me an email and uh, I might consider putting one together for you.